One day, Rapunzel was walking in the forest and saw a very interesting flower. Look, Clapsy! I've never seen such a beautiful flower before. Clapsy excitedly jumped out of Rapunzel's hair and landed on the flower and smelled it. At that moment, the color of the flower changed from pink to black. And it opened its mouth and swallowed Clapsy like a vacuum. Clapsy! No! Rapunzel tried to hold Clapsy, but she could not do it. When she took the stem of the flower and pulled it, she realized that it was connected to a tube extending underground. What is this tube? Where did Clapsy drift? Rapunzel started to move through the forest by following the trail of the tube. Meanwhile, the evil witch Camilla was happily watching what was going on from her magic globe. Here it is! Rapunzel's best friend will soon be in my hands, Broomy! Camilla stood in front of her magical labyrinth plan, and she watched Clapsy make her way through the jumbled tubes towards her tower. When Rapunzel comes to rescue her friend, we're going to cut her hair and throw it into this cauldron, Broomy! Finally, the tube in front of Camilla began to vibrate. Camilla opened her palm in front of the tube, and within seconds, Clapsy fell into her hands. Help! Oh, you let me go, you evil witch! Let me go! Camilla immediately put Clapsy into a magical glass box. This box was soundproof, therefore no one could hear Clapsy. Nor could Clapsy hear a sound from the outside. And Rapunzel walked all day long to follow Clapsy. Oh, where is the end of this road? Where does the tube end? She was just about to sit on a stone to rest. When she looked through the trees and realized that the road led to Camilla's tower. This tower? Oh, no way! We must have fallen into the trap of the evil witch Camilla! Rapunzel quickly dug up the ground. She pulled a part of the tube out of it and split it in two. The other end of this tube leads to Camilla's tower. She took out five IVCs from her pocket. She threw them into the tube. In order for the seeds to grow quickly, she dripped the healing water she carried with her. The seeds began to grow rapidly in the tube with the water. Camilla, who made treacherous plans in her tower, was unaware of the ivy. <laughs> when I steal Rapunzel's hair, she won't need a hair clip like you anymore. Isn't it, Broomy? While Camilla was angering Clapsy, strange sounds began to be heard from the labyrinth tube. Noticing the noise, Broomy immediately tried to warn Camilla. But the evil witch Camilla paid no attention to her broomstick, Broomy. But my lady, this sound is very scary. Bad things will happen, very bad. Broomy, Broomy, my coward broom. The sound you hear can only be my beautiful laughter. <laughs> At that very moment, long ivy branches began to emerge rapidly from the end of the tube in the tower. Camilla could not believe her eyes when she saw the ivy. The branches were multiplying so fast and densely that they covered the entire room in a short time. Camilla tried to get on Broomy and escape, but she was quickly caught by the vines. Ah! Help! I can't get rid of the ivy! Oh, let me go! Rapunzel watched the tower from afar and saw the ivy growing from the magical labyrinth tube overflowing from the tower window. 
I made it! The inside of the tower must have been completely covered with ivy. Now I can save my friend, Clapsy! Rapunzel approached the ivy-covered tower and threw her long golden hair as a rope through the window. She then climbed up, holding onto her own hair. While Camilla was tied to the ivy, she saw Rapunzel come in, and then she understood everything. Rapunzel! Oh, please! Save me from the ivy! I promise I won't touch your hair! I don't believe you, Camilla. You have done great evil by kidnapping my friend, Clapsy. But you can never separate true friends. Meanwhile, Clapsy, trapped in the glass box, was calling out to Rapunzel, but could not make her voice heard. Rapunzel looked around, but could not find her friend, Clapsy. Clapsy! Clapsy, where are you? I cannot find you! Rapunzel finally tossed her hair into the ivy. Her golden blonde hair wandered through the branches and finally found Clapsy. But Rapunzel could not figure out how to open this magical glass box. Evil witch Camilla, on the other hand, managed to get rid of the ivy thanks to her magical scissors at that time. When she was about to secretly cut Rapunzel's hair, the ivy caught her again and wrapped her even tighter this time. Ah! Ah! What's going on? Let me go! Ah! I failed again! Rapunzel, your golden hair will be mine one day! <laughs> Rapunzel and Clapsy were finally freed from the ivy-covered tower of the evil witch Camilla, thanks to Rapunzel's strong hair. However, Clapsy was still imprisoned in the glass box. Rapunzel quickly came to the place where the black flower was. The flower turned pink this time as Rapunzel approached. Look, Clapsy! The flower has been restored since it got rid of the tubes! Maybe it could help us now! Rapunzel approached the flower with Clapsy in the glass box. At that moment, a rosy light filled around. The glass box melted with the light scattered from the flower, thus freeing Clapsy from the box in which she was trapped. I'm saved! Thank you, Rapunzel! Thank you! <laughs> As the pink flower got rid of the evil spell, it shined brightly on these two close friends. From that day on, Rapunzel and Clapsy understood that friendships formed with love can overcome any evil.